Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you the 2021 Little Guy Max by Extreme Outdoors. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you might want to do that now and you can click on the bell to get notified every time we make a new video because we bring you the latest and greatest almost every week. Thanks so much for sticking with us. Now this trailer here, it's 3,000 pounds, 21 feet long, seven feet wide. It sleeps three adults. It has the toilet shower combination, lots of storage. It's just got all kinds of features you're gonna wanna see. It should retail somewhere between 30 and 35,000, depending on your dealer, of course. Now, if you're familiar with the Max, stick around and you'll see some of the new upgrades. If you're not familiar with the Max, let's go inside, let's check it out. Now walking in, first thing I notice, seven windows. It feels very open. But let's start with this great dinette up here. Uh, this of course folds down to make a nice size bed. It is 38 by 72, so it can sleep an adult very easily. The tabletop matches the countertop. This is Thinscape, made by Wilson Art. It is a heat pressed uh, material that looks like almost a black marble. Now this is one of the changes that you'll see from the previous models. In 2021, they went to a black tabletop and countertop. In the past, they were white. Um, the black just gives it a little more dramatic feel. I really like it with the maple wood. That's another change that you'll see in these 2021s. The maple is the only color choice. They used to make a dark wood and that isn't available any longer. Let me show you one other thing that's changed. One of the most notable things is that there used to be an electric lift inside this cabinet where you'd push the button and the TV would actually come up for the dinette area. That way you could put the TV away and have a still a, a nice countertop, a, a ledge here. And they have done away with that TV. So there is only one TV in this trailer in the back bed area. So this lifts up and it is a very deep, probably eight inches of storage right here in the front. Now right behind that, you've got cubbies on both sides so that you can get storage actually from the side on both of these. Now behind this table, a little hard to see, there is a 110 plug. So that's perfectly convenient. If you're sitting here working on a computer, charging your phone, setting it on the ledge. Lots of uh, great things that that 110 plug right here in the front can do. More storage up here while we're talking about ledges. You have an indirect lighting on this ledge on the top. And of course it, it goes back about seven, eight inches, but the roof is pretty tight. So it's not very tall. There is a lip on the front and it's pretty deep, probably two to three inches so that if you did put gear up here, you probably could travel with it up there. On both sides, you have cubbies that are built just like these front ones in the cabinets. It's a cabinet with the opening. Um, there isn't a door on it, but I really kind of like that for larger items. It makes it more of a reach in. And in the front, I think it's a great place to show you the windows. If you're not familiar with these acrylic windows, that's something that really makes this trailer special. Now this acrylic window, it's a dual pane window, um, very strong. It's like a Lexan material that they make uh, airplane windshields out of. Um, undo the latches here and then you just give this window a push and it's going to open up completely and you've got two little knobs on both sides to tighten up these struts and then you can hold this open. Now, sometimes it's hard to hold it all the way open when you only have one strut tightened. So it's a little tricky to do both sides. But the other thing I can tell you is that you've got a privacy panel here and 
the screen that comes down from the top. One thing I like about these windows is that you can clip this together here and then you can raise it up so that you get a little bit of breeze up here, but still a lot of privacy. Nobody is going to be walking by staring at you eating your dinner or having a conversation and you can still get a little airflow. I think that's a great feature. Now you probably remember, because I said it just a few seconds ago, that there are seven of these windows in this trailer. There's a large horizontal one here and a large vertical stargazer over the bed. A lot of ventilation just from the windows. So let's put this down. They just go right back and then you've got your window. I also like the cool tent that's on these. They put a tent on here. It's called a cool tent and it actually darkens the windows a little bit. So the other cool thing about these windows is that if you take a look at the latch here, there's a slot right in the middle. So if you wanted to just have a little bit of ventilation, like when you're sleeping, uh, keep the condensation and the moisture down, um, you can actually latch these windows with a little bit of a crack in them. See, just like that. And that way your window's latched um, and there still can be a little bit of air escaping there. Now, I caution people with that because if you travel down the road like that, your window most likely is going to be caught by the wind and pulled off. So you'll want to be sure when you're traveling to latch them completely behind that little slot right there. Now in the 2021s, they have changed a little bit in the cushions and a little bit up here on the valance. Uh, I like the really clean look that they have. They're very comfortable cushions. Another feature right here at the dinette is on the far side, there is a cable TV outlet. So because they don't have the TV right here, if you wanted to put your own TV on this ledge, you've got the 110 plug here, the cable TV outlet over there, you're all set. Let's move over to the kitchen and take a look there. So on the way to the kitchen, I want to point out that this trailer in the center is six foot seven inches. As you know, most likely I'm five foot tall. Uh, so you do get a lot of height right here and it curves on both ends where most likely you're not going to be standing. The one thing, the door is a little short. It's padded at the top, but you're going to have to duck. So the other thing, if you leave the door open, you have a screen that pulls across. This is so nice to give you one more large open space to the outside. You've also got the window here. This is one of your seven windows. Undo the latches. It's going to open just like the rest of the windows there. And it's going to have the blackout and the screen just like the others. All right. Now on the end of your kitchen cabinet is where they have a lot of the controls for this trailer. The 110 plug. This switch right here it looks a little different, but this is the indirect lighting for up above the kitchen and down below. The cool thing about it is that you can actually dim these lights. You can make them brighter or push on the lower button and actually dim them. So that's a great feature. You can really create the ambiance that you want. Over here is a charging center, the 12 volt plug and the two USBs. The Furion stereo down here, it is going to have a DVD, USB player, the stereo, all the Bluetooth connections, everything that you're looking for in a stereo. Now in your systems monitor panel, you're going to have the water heater switches. Now, this trailer has a six gallon water heater that runs on gas or electric. So you've got both switches side by side, the water pump and the interior light right here. There is. A courtesy light as usual so that you can just flip on the end switch and that's going to give you some light in your trailer if you're walking in in the dark. Now below that is the outside porch light, the step and the handle. So outside not only do you have a porch light but the handle lights up and there is a light on the steps so that you can see where you're stepping when you're coming in the door. This last one shows to be an awning light. Now there is an awning that's an option on this trailer. Um, 
right now this trailer doesn't have an awning on it, but we'll show you a picture so you can see what that looks like. Now the monitor system right here is a touch screen. You touch it once and twice everything pops up. What you'll see in here is going to be your batteries and then you can also see the fresh black and the gray. The thing is the black tank is actually red somewhere else but because of the programming it will show up here. Now you're going to have a 20 gallon freshwater tank, a 30 gallon gray water tank, and 9 gallon black tank. Again, you can see everything here except for the black tank. And if you just keep touching it, it gives you your battery uh, and then back to your tanks. It does uh, black out after just a minute or so, so you don't have to turn it off. It'll go off by itself. Very handy, very easily accessible right here on the end of the cabinet. Alrighty, let's take a look at the storage. Now for the size of this trailer, there is a lot of storage in this kitchen. There is an open cabinet up top, no dividers, no shelves, and it's about a foot deep, so you can fit a lot up here. Underneath, this is just a tip out for sponges, little small things right here. And underneath, full open cabinet, no shelves, no dividers. So a lot of space under there. Right here is the silverware drawer. There is a large tray that's fitted in here. Now that comes with the camper. So it helps to divide whatever you wanna put in this tray. And it could be silverware, but there's enough space for other things as well. Underneath, two more large drawers. This is our thin scape. Now this is really fairly light that goes right over this sink that's eight inches deep, almost a rectangular stainless steel sink, and a bottom drawer here. Now this bottom drawer is a little bit shorter than the one above it uh, because there is actually gear behind that, but still pretty impressive just for this small space. More storage at the end with a pull-out drawer. Now this is solid wood. You've got two movable shelves here and then the base of the cabinet, so three shelves all together. Dovetail corners, just good, nice, solid quality. Behind me, even more storage. Now, of course, this could be kitchen storage. It could be clothes hanging, whatever it is that you need. There is a hanging bar at the top and a shelf in the middle that can move just a little bit. But of course you could always put your own pre-made shelves in here, but very nice space. Then another huge drawer. So this is probably a foot deep, maybe two feet long. Pots and pans, towels, I mean, just anything could go in here. All right, you push the button in and it flattens out. Really nice system on the drawers. The rest of them are gonna, just gonna have the, the bar handles. Uh, so it's got a really clean look. Now let's go back to the kitchen and talk about appliances. There is a microwave up top. And I am a huge fan of the indirect lighting right above it. Again, that is dimmable, but it gives you enough workable space in the kitchen, a workable light. Uh, there is a, a light right up here above the countertop, so you get direct lighting on what you're doing. A 120 plug right here on the end, and glass top opens up to the two burner stove with the iron grate on the top. All right, lift it up to lay that right back down. And let's look at the refrigerator. This refrigerator is a four cubic foot refrigerator and it is three way. So it's a very nice size refrigerator for a trailer like this. Pull down freezer. All right, so uh, everything that you would need in a kitchen. Up above, before we go to the back, let's talk about the Dometic air conditioner. Uh, this is not a ducted air conditioner, but it is going to cool this space so nicely. 
It is a 13.5 BTU and for a space like this, that's going to keep it very cold even in the Texas heat. All right, right over here, you've got the ZAMP controls uh, for the solar panel that's on the roof. One of the options that you can get with this trailer is a 100 watt solar panel or 200 watt solar panels, either way. So that's an option here. So your uh, controller for those will be right here on the wall, easily accessible. Of course, this will be your smoke alarm and below the Dometic controls, the thermostat for your air conditioner. So all you have to do is set your heat and your cold right here and you're going to have the roof AC or the ducted furnace. Okay, while we're here, let's talk about another change for 2021. In 2021, they actually changed this bathroom door to be opaque. At the original Max, it was a see-through door. This is great because you can't see through the door. Makes it a, a little nicer when you're just walking in the trailer not to see the bathroom, I think. Um, and not to mention if somebody's in there, right? Okay, so inside you have the power fan in the roof. And you noticed even if you have the power fan going and the door shut, there is some space at the top. So it is going to create some airflow in this trailer, even if you don't have the bathroom door open. Uh, you do have in the corner is going to be the monitor for showing what the black tank has in it. That is actually in the back. And it is a nine gallon black tank, very easy to see. You know, the 30 gallon gray tank is what I think is the most important because when you take a shower, do your dishes, that's going to fill up faster than anything. It is a smaller black tank, but a lot of people find that it's plenty for their needs. All right. The shower uh, works great in here. You don't have a curtain that you have to pull around. Nothing that you have to worry about. The door seals well. Nice compartment toilet shower in this 21 foot trailer. Now down below right next to this drawer is going to be a heater vent. This is the LP carbon monoxide detector. Of course, LP is heavier than air and drops down. And the converter right over here with your breakers and fuses. Everything is very accessible in this trailer. I love that. A ton of storage. Even right above the refrigerator. I didn't mention that. So you've got a large space right here. It is the depth of a refrigerator, but gosh, I can fit a lot of things right up there in that space. So, all right, let's go back this way now. There's one piece of storage we didn't mention and should have. Again, a little pop-out handle here, and that is this drawer. Now, I always find this just a bit awkward to show from this side, but if you're actually standing in the middle of the trailer, it works perfectly. So this drawer is probably eight inches deep, very large, and great for clothes, anything else that you want to put in it. Close it, and just push that in, that locks it and flattens the knob so you don't catch that knob when you're walking uh, through the cabin or stepping out of bed. Now this is a 60 by 80 True Queen mattress, which is a great thing because if you have a special mattress you like, easy to replace this one right here. Let's take a look at what's in this area. So there are two windows in the bed area. You've got one on the side and one right behind me. Look at this huge stargazer window. It's gorgeous. And it makes sleeping back here just so uh, open feeling. Um, over here where the window is, you have a cubby at the top and then two smaller uh, little cubbies underneath with the 110 plug right in the middle. Again, perfect for charging your cell phone, whatever it is you need to do, any electronics that are near your bed. You've got two reading lights on this side. On the other side, the Jensen TV against the wall with really literally storage spaces almost all the way around it. Two storage spaces underneath, charging port right in the middle, speakers on both sides, 
another cubby to the side of the TV and a large one above it. So there is storage literally all the way around this side. And that's most of the time where people are going to be putting their feet. So having maybe a little eight or 10 inches sticking out there, not a problem. All right. Great space back here. I'm not a fan of small sleeping spaces, but this one really feels comfortable with the windows. Okay, let's go outside and talk about some of the new features out there. Okay, let's start by talking colors because this trailer can come with a silver or a white base and the exterior trim can be a black, silver, red, or blue. Now this black graphic that you see on here is a standard but just the trim piece right here is what changes colors and the exterior molding changes colors. So what you're looking at here is a silver trailer with silver graphics. All right, there's a lot of uh, confusion on whether this black changes colors. It does not. It always has a black base on the decals. All right, now that we've cleared that up, um, one of the new things that I've noticed is the lighted handle here and the lighted step like I mentioned before. Let's get that door shut. So uh, that is a nice feature on the outside at night when you're camping, especially if you like to camp in remote areas. Now exterior speakers on the outside make it really nice out here. There is an awning option. We don't have it on this trailer, but it is an option you can get. Uh, the TV mount out here if you wanted to mount an exterior TV and of course you've got the 110 plugs right here and the cable hookups and an HDMI as well. Very easy to connect a TV right here. First thing you're going to notice when you look at these tires is that they are the Rough Rider tires so they're off-road and uh, they have the aluminum wheels, the two-tone aluminum wheels. Very nice, good-looking tires. But if you don't get the Rough Rider package, you still get the 15-inch tires. Uh, they are not the off-road tires, but they are still 15-inch. The other change that they have made with the Rough Rider package is that the 3-inch lift goes on absolutely every one of them. So every Max will have the 3-inch lift on it. Uh, so if you get the Rough Rider package, that's going to move you into the off-road tires. Now there's a nice LED patio light on top. And over here, you'll notice this is the furnace vent for your ducted furnace and underneath the propane hookup. So if you wanted to hook up a grill out here, there is your outside connection for that. Magnetic catch for the door and the slam latch, so nice features to have. You do have a switch for the light in here, and this is a full pass-through storage. So again, great storage in this trailer. Makes it easy. Before we go to the back of the trailer, I can see in the lights that there is a slight metallic look to this silver. So it really gives it a nice, high-end look. I love that. The structure of this trailer, of course, laminated walls. Uh, they are aluminum framed, laminated with Asdel. So Asdel, if you're not familiar with it, is a composite that actually uh, resists water. So it doesn't swell, it doesn't get wet, cause any delamination. It is a good, solid, lightweight material that they use instead of Luon, which is a wood product. So. Asdell on the outside, Asdell on the inside, great lightwood laminated sides. Let's look at the back. Now the back of this trailer, it is a one piece fiberglass. So it starts here, goes all the way around to the front, no seams where there's a roof. So you get the fiberglass roof as one panel all the way front to back. Stargazer window on the top, and nice LED lights back here. You'll notice there is a receiver. Now that's a standard feature. Uh, this receiver holds up to 150 pounds. So great if you wanted to put a tray back here with a generator, maybe some extra chairs, a Yeti, whatever it is that you need to carry outside your trailer. 
We'll start with the sewer hose holder on this side. And of course the other end of your pass through storage right here. Outside shower with hot and cold right there. And the 30 amp cord, 20 foot long Furion attaches right here. It is a detachable cord. Let's look at the sewer dump connections because they're actually right in front of the wheel. So the dump valves have the gray valve on the front, the black one on the side, all connecting to one hose, very accessible right here on the side. Just in front of it, near the front, you'll find the low point drains in case you needed to drain the hot and cold lines or the fresh tank. Filling the water tank or hooking up to city water is right here. Again, you've got the 20 gallon fresh water tank. Under here is the cable connection. If you're at a park that has cable, perfect. Connect it right here. Six gallon water heater, gas or electric. And you do have four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. Manual jacks, easily just crank them up and down whenever you get your trailer level. Now on the front there is something that has changed. Uh, this diamond plate tub is what you're going to find on every Max, whether it has the off-road package or not. And it doesn't matter what color your trim is, this will always be the silver diamond plate. And it will match the silver diamond plate that's on the front as a rock guard. Really classy look, gives it a little bit more uh, rugged feel and great operation. Now this tub opens up from the front and inside goes your battery and your propane. Single battery and a single propane are made to fit right inside here. The smart jack is an option on the little guys. It used to be standard, but now the smart jack is an option. And so unless you choose that option, it will come with a manual crank. So you notice the one piece roof starts right here at your rock guard, goes all the way around to the bumper in the back. And up top, what you'd find is a digital TV antenna, your air conditioner, the vents, and a 100 watt solar panel. Uh, this trailer has the 100 watt solar panel option, but you could actually have two 100 watt solar panels if you wanted that much power. Now we've covered a lot of features on this 2021 Little Guy Max, but if there's something that you have a question about that we haven't covered, please let us know. We'll try to answer all of your questions or just call us here at Princess Craft RV. We're in Round Rock, Texas. We're here to help you. All right, well, thanks for joining us and I will look forward to seeing you next time. <music>